Hello world, my name is Mohit Deshpande, and in this video we're going to talk about optionals. So what an optional basically tells us is that there is a value and it equals some number, or that there isn't a value at all. So let me give you an example of why this might be useful. Say I have some variable named string number, and it's really a number, but it's in a string. So really Swift would see this as a string, but I want to convert this to an integer. So I would do something like let converted number equal this string number dot to int. And you can see this returns, the return type of this is int question mark. And that means that it's an optional int. That means that we either do get a value back and the value is this, or there's no value at all. So you can see on the right hand pane it says sum 64, right? But let's suppose I replace this with a ton of gobbledygook. You can see it doesn't return a value at all. It says it's nil, and nil means that there isn't a value. So I have this sum 64. And so what it'll do is this 2 int will return me that number, or it will return me nil, which means that I there is no number. There's no value exists. But now let's suppose that, let me declare, let me say this is a number, let me give it a value of int question mark, but let's say that I have an optional, but then later in, somewhere in the code, I, I, it's defined, like I know for sure that this is defined. So there's really no need, it's never, it's not going to be null, I'm confident that it is not null. You can do what's called forced unwrapping and get, extract that value out by typing a number and then an exclamation point afterwards and that'll force Swift to pull whatever is in that variable but of course you may there might be some errors that come up or maybe you're doing something that relies on user input and that might be an optional so let me go back to my previous example where I had this string here instead I wanted make sure that it does return a value but if it doesn't then I want to have some kind of fallback plan so this sounds like it could use an if statement in this case we're gonna call it uh, it's called optional binding so it's gonna go like this I'm gonna say if let constant equals converted number else so what this is saying let me break this down saying I'm gonna have a constant and it's gonna have the value of converted number and if constant has a value execute the code that's in this block or if converted number returned back nil or if the value is not found then put it execute the code in this else block so what's gonna happen in this case is converted number is gonna have a value of 64 and so will this constant. It will return successfully and I can execute whatever is in this if block. Now let's say I turn into some gobbledygook. Now it's going to execute what's in this else block because the conversion was not successful. I have a nil value so the value of the constant will not be a definite value and in which case this first if statement will fail and it will execute what is in this else statement. So in this video, we learned about what optionals are and why they're useful, as well as how we can forcibly get the value out of it in case we know that it for sure has a value. And we learned this construct called an if let statement, which will allow us to kind of test to see if it does have a value. And if it does, execute this block. Else, if there is no value, then execute what is in this else block. I hope to see you all in the next video.